How did I find myself standing with the President of the United States in the Oval Office? I invited a friend to pray with me. Actually, I invited several friends during my freshman year at Pine Creek High School in Colorado Springs. We had a free period in the middle of the school day. A lot of my classmates used this time to just hang out, or text, or talk about their plans for the weekend. I thought it might be a good time to find an empty room and a few good friends who would enjoy praying together and encouraging one another in our shared faith. We did that for three years. Word got around and more and more people joined us. By the time I was a senior, about 90 students were in that room twice a week. We enjoyed a strong sense of community as we met to pray for each other, our teachers, our school, and even our nation. No one was pressured to join the group, only people who wanted to be there attended, some of whom weren't even Christians. We were carrying on a great American tradition. From the time of our nation's founding, People have been meeting in public places, including public schools, to pray. During my senior year, however, something changed. I was summoned to the assistant principal's office. He told me that this uplifting, student-led prayer time violated the so-called separation of church and state. We were told that if we wanted to continue to meet, it would have to be either before classes started at 7.45 in the morning or after they ended at 2.45. Most of the students joining us had jobs, sports activities, or other commitments before and after school. This free period was the only time we all could meet. Our meetings were an enormous encouragement to so many students. I didn't want to lose them. I knew full well that there were other informal groups meeting during this free period, so I advocated for our right to pray. I knew that if we moved the meeting to before or after school, so many of these students would lose out on the encouragement this community provided. And that turned out to be true. Our group soon dwindled from over 90 to just a handful of students who met before school to pray. No one in this country should ever have to go to court to win permission to pray. But when repeated conversations with administrators went nowhere, legal action was the only way to ensure the right to pray for other students who would be coming after me. I reached out to Alliance Defending Freedom. Together, we filed a federal lawsuit challenging the school's unconstitutional actions. Banning us from praying didn't just go against the grain of our nation's history. It violated the Constitution. I was a senior getting ready to graduate. Getting involved in a federal lawsuit was the last thing on my mind. I couldn't understand why I would have to take legal action to persuade our school administrators to honor our freedoms. This dragged out through my whole senior year. But finally, the school settled the suit. They agreed to allow students to pray and talk about their faith during free time at school. More than four years later, the case came to the attention of then-President Donald Trump. His team invited me to join him in the Oval Office for National Religious Freedom Day, where I had the opportunity to tell my story. There, the president also announced several new measures to protect religious liberties of students on American campuses. Part of the president's guidance directed public schools to respect students' free speech and free exercise of constitutionally protected rights. It reminded school administrators that those rights don't go away when students step onto school property. Students have the freedom to gather to pray. School officials should never break up student-led prayer meetings, especially if they don't get in the way of classes. I've learned so much from this journey. Taking a stand wasn't comfortable at the time, but God has used this experience to shape me in ways I could have never imagined as a high school senior. Even with the challenges we face, I'm hopeful that we'll continue to be a nation where all people can freely practice their faith without fear of government punishment. We simply need to have the courage to do what's right, even if those who should know better tell us otherwise. Find out how you can stand with me for freedom at www.adflegal.org slash standforfreedom.